Your voice, your vote tonight. Let's meet the candidates. Our Democracy 2012 segment focuses on Ohio's 7th Congressional District. News Channel 5's Leon Bibb talked with Joyce Healy Abrams, who wants voters to send her to Washington. I'm talking to Joyce Healy Abrams, Democrat who's running for Congress in the 7th Congressional District. Yeah. Good to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Why you. are you running for election to Congress? Well, you know, Leanne, I, I, I basically thought it was necessary. I thought, um, I think Congress is broken. I think that there's a lot of dysfunction in Congress and nothing's happening. And uh, I've been watching what's been going on over the past few years, and I, you know, saw issues against uh, some women's health care issues. I saw issues against workers' rights. And I saw issues with seniors' uh, uh, security uh, with Medicare. And I thought, what in the world's going on? And um, and I said, you know, something has to happen. And I thought I could sit at home and complain about it, or I could get up and do something. So I decided to run. This is your first time out running for Congress. It is. What makes you a better choice for Congress? than your opponent? Well, I think it's mostly because of the issues. And if you look at the sides of the issues that I'm on compared to Congressman Gibbs, uh, we're on very different sides. So this is a clear choice, this election. And um, I absolutely believe that uh, somebody has to fight for the middle class and the working class of the 7th Congressional District. You know, um, my opponent has very much demonstrated where his um, interests lie uh, in his votes uh, for the, Ra the Paul Ryan budget. Uh, which uh, you know provide uh, the loopholes for the special interests and at the expense of uh, voting to change Medicare as we know it and that's a prime example uh, why um, we're on different sides and I do not want to balance the budget on the backs of seniors and so um, that's a big example I want to you know be able to uh, to work uh, for the middle class and make sure that we do things the right way there's a right way and a wrong way to do these things and uh, and I want to and I want to fight for the right way you are are the Democrat running in that 7th Congressional District, mm -hmm. which is uh, covers some of northern Ohio, goes yes. down into the central part of the state. Yes. It's got Lorraine, Ashland, Stark counties are part of District 7. Yes. Comes up into Cuyahoga County, not, uh, not Cuyahoga. Lorraine County, I'm sorry. Ma Ma Medina. Medina. We have, we have Lorraine and Medina. We have Huron. And then we have Ashland, Richland. And we go down to Knox County. And then we start heading east to Coshocton and uh, Holmes and northern Tuscaroras County and then up to Stark County, which is where I live. Now, in that, that's a huge, huge area. How do you prepare yourself to deal with the voters in such a wide expanse of Ohio? You know, it's interesting. We've been to all 10 counties uh, many times talking to the voters there, and pretty much the voters have the same issue. And the number one issue is jobs. People want to work. You know, people are, have pride. They want to work. They just want to have an opportunity to be able to do that. And with that being said, I wrote a jobs plan. And um, I'm a small business owner, and so I've actually created a business and started with one employee and built my uh, business to be a successful business business here in Ohio and so I wrote a jobs plan and that jobs plan can be found at JoyceForJobs.com but it's a very detailed plan about how to put people back to work in Ohio. If you are elected to Congress, mm -hmm. how do you plan on working with members who sit on the other side of the aisle, mm -hmm. on the Republican side, mm -hmm. to create jobs and increase the declining uh, uh, tax revenues in Ohio? Well, for one thing, we need to talk to one another, and that's not, that's what's not happening. They're not even talking to one another. Uh, there's very much um, a partisanship in Washington right now, and so they're both staying on each side of the, the line. You know, I think there's a line in the sand, and nobody's crossing it, and that's wrong. You know, we couldn't do that in the the business world and they shouldn't do that in government especially with taxpayers dollars and so for one thing I would be able to talk across party lines you negotiate you compromise you come up to a solution then you execute it I mean so that's what you need to do um, and my opponent for example he signed a pledge uh, the, the Grover Norquist pledge to be able to say it I'm gonna not do this I'm not gonna touch any loopholes that special interests get I'm not gonna change anything I'm just gonna make sure that all we do is cut uh, expenses on, uh, on the budget and that doesn't work it doesn't work in the real world either you can't expect to tell an employee that you're gonna make this wage it's gonna be a fixed wage for the rest of your life I've got about 40 seconds remaining mm -hmm. okay you see jobs as the
the number one issue I in do. this campaign. Yes. Would you speak to that? Well, I want to say that, you know, I believe in building from the ground up. Um, I put myself through college, I created my own business, and, uh, and we can do that. We need to empower people to be able to do that. And so please go to my, uh, to my website, JoyceForJobs.com. You'll see the detailed information. If we create jobs, we stimulate the economy. People spend their money, and that creates this consumer demand. And then that, of course, creates more jobs. So um, I believe from building from the ground up, and that's the opposite side of my opponent. So I appreciate your support. <laughs> Joyce Healy uh, Abrams running for Congress from the 7th Congressional yes. District. Appreciate you being with Thank us. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you.